Hello students, welcome back to Clary Concepts, Unleashing Conceptual Learning. Visit our website www.claryconcepts.com for more such engineering videos wherein we are unleashing the conceptual clarity of engineering concepts. Okay, before I display the topic on which we are going to talk, I like to ask you some questions which you have already observed in day to day life. Do you know how does water travels from the ground till the top of the coconut tree? Because you might have seen the coconut fruit comes at the top and which has water filled within it and the water is going from the ground, right? And we know that if I want to, uh, you know, uh, transfer the water from the ground water tank at my house to the overhead tank, it is not going by itself. I have to deploy pump for that. Now, do you think there is any pump here? No pump at all, right? But still water is climbing at such a great height. What is the reason behind this? This is a natural process happening. If you look at this, another example, this is a kerosene stove. You see the stove, the flame is on the top portion and, and the fuel is filled in the bottom tank. The kerosene is filled in the bottom tank. Now, how come the fuel is travelled upward? There is no pump over here also. But what you see, there are threads available and the threads are dipped into the, into the, into the tank of the fuel and the, the, the kerosene comes along with the thread at the top portion over here and the upper side and then the flame is being ignited. Now the question is how does this travel against the gravity? Kerosene is travelling upward, water is travelling in coconut tree case. Now how is this happening? There is no pump, right? The answer to this question is the phenomena called capillary rise and fall. In both the case which we have seen, the phenomena responsible is capillary rise. Now let us look at this what is the phenomena. So before I move on to this explanation, I would like to show you one video which, has, which I have taken it from SGS, SCI Experiment YouTube channel. And this is a really good video. If I uh, look at this, small kids have done the experiment. See, they have several plastic glasses and they have filled water into those glasses, right? Now you see what they will do is, they will put some colored dye into all of these glasses. So they, they have, uh, let us say, the orange color dye in one of them to make the water of orange or yellow color. Then they will put some other color of dye. So here they have some blue color dye. So if I just fast forward this video, let me just fast forward this video. So they have this blue color and now they have some red color dye over here, right? And then another red color dye. Now what they will do is they will keep an empty glasses adjacent to this field glasses. You see what they are doing? They are stirring it well so that the dye is, is I mean, get mixed with the water. And now they, they took a kitchen paper basically, a, pa a paper napkin kind of thing, which basically soaks the water, right? So they have taken those papers and they will put that, they will fold it first. And then they will put that into these glasses. Just see what that, this is a really interesting experiment that I have come across. And the phenomenon responsible behind this is surface, I mean capillary rise. So that's why I thought of showing this video to you before I explain the principle. So now they have empty glasses adjacent to the filled glasses and they are just putting this band paper uh, towel into this glass. So one of the end is in the filled glass, one of the end is in the empty glass. You see the water is climbing actually. The water is climbing. You can check the level of water in the glass is up to this only. You can see the yellow color, have, I mean the paper towel converting into yellow color which means the water has started climbing. So they will keep in all these glasses. You will see the phenomenal phenomena. They, the water has reached up to the height of the glass, you see. Not only they will reach up to the height, you will actually see water will start getting poured into the empty glasses. So this is at the beginning. Now they will show you the picture after 4 hours. You see after 4 hours the empty glasses are now filling with the liquids. So this is a phenomenal experiment. The, the phenomena is responsible behind this is capillary rise. right? Let me show you another video, which I have taken it from K Class Science YouTube channel. Uh, here this person is explaining you about uh, capillary rise and fall. So they have two beakers, in one beaker they have uh, colored water and they have pipette, a glass tube. Now the moment they will dip into this beaker, you will see the water will climb over the normal surface. You see, the surface of water over here is up to, is this, up to this point. 
and the sun, and the water in the pipette is at a higher level now when they have different diameter tubes you see the diameter larger diameter tube has a lower rise the small diameter has a larger rise so this is what this is a simple surface uh, uh, capillary rise phenomena now why is this happening basically is you see the molecules the attractive force between water water molecules and the glass water molecule is different so attractive force between glass and water molecule is way high than the attractive force between water water molecule so what will happen is when you dip the glass tube in the, inside the water the inner surface of the glass tube the when the molecules of the around the periphery of the inner surface they will start climbing over each other because the glass molecule attracts water molecule to a larger extent than water water and that is why meniscus is also formed so this is the principle behind the capillary rise so let us look at uh, the capillarity by definition it says that capillarity is defined as the phenomena of rise or fall of a liquid surface just a minute rise or fall of a liquid surface in a small tube relative to the adjacent general level of liquid when the tube is held vertically inside the liquid now when i talk about the glass in water water has raised on the other hand when you will look at glass in mercury the mercury level will go down so that is capillary fall right so that is why they say the phenomena of rise or fall of a liquid surface in a small tube related to the adjacent layer of level of liquid when the tube is held vertically inside the liquid and this phenomena is called capillarity right so the rise of liquid is called capillary rise and the fall of liquid surface is called capillary fall let us closely look into this uh into this phenomena and see why on what principle on what parameters this this height which is rising or the fall that is lowering down it depends on so when you have a beaker in the beaker you have the glass tube if you put this glass tube into the beaker you will see the water is climbing up to a certain height called h now there is several parameters on which the height is dependent on right what are the parameters you see as i said that the water molecules will start climbing because the attraction between the glass and water is much higher than water water so all these molecules will start climbing over each other and there will be a particular height of liquid column now if you see closely at this particular point you will see a meniscus forming and this meniscus if i draw tangent to this i will have something like this so this is a, this is three dimensional if it is spherical in nature it is like a, a concave surface and the surface will have a peripheral view which is in tension right so this force will be let's say fs and the angle over here is let's say theta so now if i talk about the physics or other i would say mechanics when the liquid column is in the prepared is steady it means the liquid column is in equilibrium that means the forces acting on this liquid column are balancing each other what are the forces see the upward force vertical up force down this force is at an angle at an angle of theta fs the component of fs along the vertical direction will be what fs cos theta this is the peri entire peripheral force fs is the surface tension force and cos theta is the component so theta is the uh, angle between these two so this is vertical uh, component now this force is balanced by the extra weight of the fluid so if you see from here to here whatever extra weight of the fluid has raised it is let's say w so this weight is equivalent to the surface tension force right now let us balance this so let us suppose summation of forces along y to be equals to 0 let me take y positive upward and x positive right side so the vertical force is surface tension force so fs cos theta that is positive and w is downward so it is negative right so this is minus w equals to 0 so you can easily say fs cos theta equals to w what is fs it is surface tension force what is the value of surface tension force it is the amount of surface tension coefficient multiplied by the circumferential length so what is the value of circumferential length will be pi d let's say diameter of this tube is small d so pi d will be circumferential length and sigma is the surface tension coefficient so sigma into pi d will become the surface tension force into cos theta equals what is w it is weight can i say weight is equals to mass of this column into gravitational acceleration g yes now i'll put this sigma pi d cos theta as it is what is mass can i say mass of this liquid column is equals to density times the volume yes why because i know density is mass by volume so you can say mass is density into volume see why i am coming to this point is what is volume can i say volume is this height h into the cross sectional area cross sectional area is let's say pi by 4 d square so area into length 
so h into pi by 4 d square is the volume and then g as it is now if you see this d will get cancelled 1 d and then pi will get cancelled so now if you look at this h you keep h as it is and come take all this parameter on the left hand side you will get h will be equals to keep it the sigma cos theta as it is now 4 is in the denominator you will take this right hand, I mean left hand side you will get 4 on the numerator then rho h sorry h i have already taken so rho d and g so you can say rho g d will remain so now you see this expression you will see the height h of the liquid column depends on sigma which is the surface tension coefficient between the between the fluid and 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 in liquid molecules so cos theta which is this theta rho density of the fluid that is water g gravitational acceleration and diameter so main aspect is diameter smaller the diameter larger will be the height because d is in the denominator yeah smaller the density larger will be the height but here when it when i talk about coconut tree the density of water will be same so now when diameter is smaller height will be larger so coconut tree has such a large height you see if you cut the trunk you will see there are many many small small pores available in the trunk which are of very very small diameter and that's the reason why the water can climb up to a certain greater height this is the final form so we will use this equation in the numericals remember this right let us talk about capillary fall so i have a beaker and i have mercury filled in this beaker and when i drop a pipette or kind of glass tube i will see the level of mercury in glass tube will drop why because the attraction between mercury mercury is much more stronger than attraction between mercury and glass so what will happen all the mercury will come down we'll try to repel so here if you see the the sigma or the force acting is like this so fs is something like this now the angle this angle is theta which means this angle is theta right so this angle will be what this angle will be 180 minus theta so the component of this force acting downward is fs cos 180 minus theta isn't it now this force is balanced by what is balanced by the extra pressure that this surface is having what pressure now see let us suppose the drop that has taken place is by z meters that means the pressure over here will be what the force upward force because of this fluid pressure will be fp so let me write down let us suppose this vertical is positive y and this is x so if i put summation of f along y to be equal to zero the upward force is positive force of so force because of pressure is positive minus fs cos 180 minus theta which is in downward direction so fs cos 180 minus theta equals to zero now you just equate this so f P will be equals to fs cos 180 minus theta now what is fp pressure force pressure force is what pressure multiplied by the area what is pressure rho g z we have certain fluid mechanism pressure at this point will be equal to pressure at this point pressure at this point is rho g z rho is density of mercury so pressure is rho just a minute pressure of the fluid is rho g and z and then what is area area is pi by 4 d square so let us say diameter of this pipette is or glass tube is d right and this is equals to what is surface tension for sigma into pi d which is circumferential line and cos 180 minus theta if you know trigonometry cos 180 minus theta will be minus cos theta right now see i have said that z is the distance now h is normally measured positive upward h is positive upward so the value of h here it is zero the value of h is zero over here the value of z h is positive in the upper direction and the value of h is negative in below so if this is distance z so value of h over here will be minus z yes and therefore i can say that z will be equals to what from here z will be equals to minus h you put this over here so rho g minus h pi by 4 d square equals to sigma pi d minus is over here and cos theta so minus from both the side will get cancelled pi will get cancelled d will get cancelled right and uh, you can say minus will also get cancelled right so what you will remain with is h will be equals to 4 you will take on the right hand side 4 sigma cos theta and your denominator you will get rho g and this 1d rho g and d 
simple so the drop of capillary is also dependent on 4 sigma cos theta by rho gd now again if you see the formula is same if you look at the formula the formula is same for capillary rise and fall then how come h is negative my dear if you see in case of capillary rise this theta value is less than 90 degree for capillary rise and on theta is less than 90 degree so cos theta which is anyway value less than 90 degree will be positive number so because all of other values are positive sigma is positive rho is always be positive g value is positive diameter is positive cos theta if it is less than 90 cos theta will be positive value so this is capillary rise when you talk about the case of capillary fall the cos theta theta will be greater than you see this theta theta is greater than 90 degrees and therefore cos theta value will be negative when you say cos 95 or cos 100 is it is negative value right and therefore h will come negative negative meaning it is capillary fall simple right so if h is minus 4 yeah minus 0, 4 mm for example that means 4 mm is the capillary fall clear so remember this formula in the numericals we will solve the numericals in the upcoming class thank you so much